Hi everyone. Uh, welcome. It's actually New Year's Eve here. Um, first people to celebrate New Year's Eve in the world here in New Zealand. And tomorrow is the first of the first. And 2018 adds up to 11. So it's a, a big, powerful day. Um, there's a stellar gateway open. And also, it's a supermoon. So what an amazing start to 2018. Now, I've decided to pull some cards for everyone. And I've pulled some from my tarot pack and also from another set of cards that I've got. And I just want to say, to begin with, that, in fact, it's the message is in these cards as well, that there... It's almost like fate is having a hand in things that we're hearing about around the world. And it's also um, in parts of our everyday life as well. But we're being guided, is what I want to say. We're actually being guided along the correct path. So no matter what unfolds in life, whether you would class it as negative or positive, it's actually either something for you, from you, for you to learn from or to help you to get onto the right pathway forward. Um, as you know, I totally, fully trust in the process of life and in the universe and in my team who are looking after me. And I know they are looking after me and I f tr truly, truly believe that. So that f the fake cards come out and this is almost like we're all waiting for some important news. Um, and this can be to do with family, but also to do with what's happening around the world, the celebrations of New Year coming in and New Year's Eve. And the next card out actually is about celebrations and happy times and spending time with friends and family and the ones you love and enjoy, actually enjoy the evening and try not to stress about anything because the next card out I actually feel I need to stand up because I feel better walking around. The next card out is the Magician. Now this gives me a few insights about um, tonight. Again, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a spiritual card. I actually call it a natural way of being. Um, but that the Magician represents actually people are going to become a lot more knowing of themselves so this is a natural way of being you can call it spiritual if you like but going deep within and actually knowing a lot more about yourself being more aware of what's going on around you and being more psychic if you like more in tune with nature more in tune with the cosmos more in tune with the universe so 2018 is going to be a year all about this, but it's also going to be a year all about love. And this is connecting with loved ones on a soul level. This is why the Magician and the Two of Cups um, are next to each other here. This is about 2018. Um, literally, your gifts are awakening, um, your your cellular structure being opened, your DNA being advanced, if you like, being activated, but your total knowledge and knowing of yourself, that's the most important thing. Connecting fully with yourself and knowing who you truly are and actually feeling the love that runs through your body, getting rid of all the stories and um, things that that you feel perhaps what make you who you are today and going deep and actually following that, following your higher self, following your soul and following your own gifts. Everybody is different. Everybody has their own gifts. And, you know, whether it's through artistic channels, making things, painting or being good with numbers or being scientific, whatever it is, it is a gift. And if you enjoy doing it, that's the way forward. But also, again, like I said, focusing on the people that you're going to meet to. The right people are going to come in. The Two of Cups represents people coming in of the same frequency, of the same soul family. This is about soul families connecting. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. Um, if you're meant to actually meet and connect with your soul family, that's what will happen. 
and this is what's going to unfold in 2018 on a personal level for everyone. It's about everybody waking up to who they truly are, who they truly are on every level. You are multidimensional, even if you don't know it yet. You are multidimensional beings. You have so many gifts that perhaps you haven't realised that you have. Excuse me, I just dropped a card and I have to pick it up because the, it's every so often we get a, a bit of a gust of wind, even though it's not actually at the moment. So that's that's my personal set of tarot cards that I use. You are a gift and you're going to meet people of like minded like frequencies so please try and put aside all the human stuff even though we are living this human experience and we have to do that we're here to learn but actually go deep within and just trust that actually everything is working the way it should be try not to stress focus on your inner being your soul the love that runs through your body the love that runs through your soul the connection that you have with nature and, and the universe and the cosmos. You are expansive, multidimensional beings. And it's time now to actually find that out for yourself. So I would say, spend time going within. It's good to meditate, but if you haven't got time to meditate, then there are other ways that you can actually be in that space where you can go within. Now, sometimes it's doing something creative where you can kind of get lost in the task that you're doing, whether it's creativity or not. I actually can get into that space when I'm doing the hoovering. So even if you're doing something that that is mundane, you just do it, you don't even think, actually set the intention before you start doing that that you're going to get into that space of meditation and you'll receive messages and these might come in as images or ideas or knowings but that's how they'll come you might even hear something so the the next set of cards that i've pulled that it's just all so beautiful actually so the dreams dreams first has come out the first card is all about dreams Embrace your dreams. Notice that subliminal messages that are coming through in your dreams because there is a message there for you. And, and often this is how your higher self will give you understandings or give you messages through your dreams. And this will help you actually help to guide you in discovering who you are. So whether it's, even if you have a horrible dream, it can be actually that you're releasing old stuff and you just need to release it and let it go. But often these dreams, messages will come for you and it's up to you to decipher what these messages mean. So this, particularly at this time, your hopes, dreams and wishes. If you haven't written a list, write a list of everything that you would like for 2018. It's similar to doing a vision board. Um, you can do a vision board if you have time, but you, you can just write a list if you haven't got time. You can actually just use your consciousness and think about what you would like for 2018. The next card out is abundance. Open your arms to the richness of life. Now, abundance can come in many, many ways. It doesn't have to be just money or anything like that. It can be opportunities, uh, meeting the right people, um, but kind of even connecting with nature, it's even the small things of of being grateful for what you have or being honoured that a bird will come up uh, close to you in nature. It's not just about money. This is about opening your arms to the richness of life, to the richness of who you are and the energy that you emanate from yourself. Um, wealth is abundant and great opportunities are about to unfold. Offer gratitude to accept these many blessings. So have that focus tonight. Write your list and actually truly believe with all your heart and soul that these things that are on your list are actually going to happen and they will happen in the, in the right timing. So everything is about the timelines coming together and everything being in full alignment for these things to happen. Now, sometimes it might be something little, 
um, that you've written on your list. And that could happen very, very quickly. And same with other things. It literally all depends on the timing. So abundance, excitement for the new year. Be uplifted. Be excited. Be joyful. Because 2018 has got some amazing things in store. And you're setting the intention now of actually following those dreams, following those intentions, feeling good. The next card out is love. So it is safe to feel the splendor of love. Get, let go of all fear and tell that special someone how you feel. Allow the truth of love to guide your heart and soul. So this is about the love of all the people that you're around, your family and everyone, but it's also important to remember it's about the love of yourself. And the next card out is move. Usher in the new energy. This is so apt for New Year's Eve and the beginning of a new year. Usher in the new energy that brings about new beginnings. Remain positive to move forward fearlessly. That is the key. Fearlessly. Don't even think about anything that those worrying things. Actually move forward fearlessly. And again with an open loving heart and a positive mindset. Because this is what is going to draw those things towards you. The energy you give out is what you're going to receive back. So keep it positive. Keep that love vibe going on within your being. And focus on being fearless as you move forward in life. It's actually good to step out of your comfort zone. It actually helps you grow as a person and helps you grow within yourself because you become more confident. You become more knowing of yourself, more, more confident and standing in your own power when you take yourself out of your comfort zone and step forward into it, releasing all fear. I've, I've learned a lot of this last year, that actually stepping forward and stepping out. And, and you know what? It feels good. It actually makes you feel good if you can do it. So it's about stepping forward fears, fearlessly, being abundant and having those abundant vibes to create the future you want. Remember that you are a powerful manifester. So whatever you think and feel about is what you're going to create. So make it positive, make it worth creating something good in your life. And um, I'm thinking about at the moment, and I think I will do it, but the activations that I offer, I know that on the 11th of the 1st, there is another powerful Stella Gateway. Um, and this is where abundance and things can really open up for people. Now I'm thinking about doing online a public activations that I offer to everyone for a, a smaller price than what they're actually on at the moment. So if you are interested in this, please comment below because I need to get a list together. And if I can get some people that are interested, um, then I will definitely do it. And that will be the, on the 11th of the 1st here in New Zealand. That is a Thursday. I'm going to try and work out a time where it will be, uh, you know, it'll try and suit most people around the world. So whether it will be first thing in the morning or evening, I'm not sure yet. So um, please put your names below. If you want to find out more about the activations, you can go to my website, which is www.ginnyjoneshealing.com and go to the services page and you'll see quantum activations. If you click on the button that's below that, that says quantum activations, it will take you to the page with all the information on it. So have a read through. It's gonna be an amazing, powerful day. So it'll be extra, extra special and it will uh, really open things up for you and really give you that fast track forward to opening up. And this include opening your DNA and opening yourselves and opening your higher consciousness. It's powerful stuff. I've been doing them lately and um, with people and I've had some people say they've never felt anything like it. It's the most powerful thing they've felt. So um, it's me and my team and your team, of course, actually doing it all. And it's it goes beyond feeling like just a healing session. It's way beyond that. It's multidimensional. 
so please put your name below if you are interested enjoy this video have a wonderful time tonight on new year's eve or if you're in another part of the world it'll be tomorrow uh, still enjoy and hope you haven't got too much of a hangover on new year's day spend the time relaxing and focusing on putting those good vibes out and just watch what unfolds in 2018 lots of love take care bye